I'm leaving pears in Malibu. I'm leaving grape high chew in Malibu. I'm leaving boba in Malibu. And I'm leaving hot dogs in Malibu. All of these items are going into Malibu for a week or until something interesting happens. That's a smoky wiener. I know what you're thinking. Can Ryan juggle pears? Yes. I don't think I can fit any more than one. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> but now we don't got room for the Malibu. Oh, wow. These aren't ripe yet. It's not ripe. It's, it's funny, in a week this is gonna be ripe. And now, a word from today's sponsor. Cold turkey might be good on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. And I'm not talking about a Jared Leto style retreat where you're isolated for weeks on end for a mental reset. I'm talking about the innovative and award nominated device and sponsor of today's video, Fume. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of making a drastic and uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Instead of electronics or vapor, Fume is completely natural and uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural delicious flavors. Essentially, instead of bad, Fume is good. A habit that you're free to enjoy, which makes replacing a bad habit easy. Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, which I love. Fume also released new cores. Orange vanilla, raspberry lemon, and my favorite, sparkling grapefruit, which is fresh and cooling with a nice fruity grapefruit flavor. The feel, great. The balance, perfect. Stopping is something that we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is fun, it's easy, and it's enjoyable. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has had thousands of success stories, so there's no reason you can't be another one. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the Journey Pack today. Head on over to tryfume.com slash dokoryan or scan the QR code and use code dokoryan to get 10% off when you pick up the Journey Pack today. That's tryfum.com slash dokoryan and use code dokoryan to save an additional 10% on your order today. Now back to the video. Do you know you can open a haichu like this? No, you can't. Never mind. I don't think you can. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I was onto something. Oh, they changed the packaging! The cameraman thought this was gum. You want to laugh at him real quick? This guy thought Haichu was gum. Piece of gum. Just like gum. <laughs> Do I not? Am I not dressed fall like? Is this not fall weather now? I only wear flannel in the fall, Dylan. Flannel in the fall. Flannel. In, it's f boy fall, Dylan. Boy fall. Get your boy flannel out. Get your boy. Get your get your boy flannel out for boy fall. Don't drink and drive. Dylan, maybe we should do a PCA, PSA, PS, PAS, whatever. Rotoscope me into a car right now. Hey, it's me, Doka Ryan. I'm drinking, no, I'm not Doka Ryan, because Doka Ryan would not drink and drive. Stop, put it over, turn around. Here I am, new car, new car. Oh, hey everybody, it's me, not Doka Ryan. Oh, I'm drinking and driving, ooh. I'm going again with the laws are. Uh-oh, I'm getting pulled over. Oh, let me, I can talk to this officer. Hello? Hey, I pulled you over. Yeah. You're up, yeah? What's it to you? I think you've been drinking. I don't got a problem. You're in a lot of trouble, pal. I'm under arrest? Uh-huh. You know what's illegal? Okay. Oh, I got these in protective wrap. Thank you.
If I hit you with like every single one almost? Yeah. All right, let's go for, I'm, I'm definitely two for three. You've heard of Malibu Barbie, but have you heard of Malibu Hot Dog? You heard of Malibu Barbie, but have you heard of Mal Malibu Barbecue? Listen, dude. Look at him in there. Drenched. Drenched. It's a boba kit. I don't know how to use it. I don't, I like. It comes with milk tea powder, boba pearls, and three convenient boba straws. But I want the cups. Oh, they're like little boba packs. Oh, this smells really good, actually. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. Technically, you did hit me on the back of the leg. I'll, t I'll take it. And now, we wait. Well, it's been a week, and can you guess which one might give me food poisoning? It's probably this one. This one did not, this one did not turn out the way that I wanted it to. I'll be honest, when I brought it downstairs, I forgot what it was until I opened up the garbage. And I saw that it was, it was, it was taro flavored bubble tea stuff. A lot of people want to know, how do I prepare my jars? Uh, dude, what the f what the <laughs> <f> <laughs> this just randomly opened by itself. That freaked me out. Sorry. <laughs> I really do think this basement's haunted. I heard giggling in the bathroom the other day. I'm not kidding. Like the dryer will randomly go off sometimes and it's not plugged in. <laughs> A lot of people want to know how do I prepare my jars? Uh, Cause this one's refrigerated and this one is not. Um, and this one is. So. Fresh fruit, fresh meat, and fresh kind of anything that I don't think can last very long, I put in the fridge because I don't want to die. Uh, canned items, like if this was a canned pears, or if it was like canned pineapple or something, I'd leave it at room temperature. Candy, anything like that. If I bought sardines in a can, they're staying out. How long can they stay in? Whatever it says for the expiration date, that's what I think. Guess how old this jar is. Yeah? Good guess. Uh, this jar is coming up on two years old. It is 90% vodka mixed with uh, Dr. Pepper baked beans. I have yet to open it. I have yet to taste it. But one day I will do a, it's been a month, but it's actually been a year. There's something on the camera. Lens. Mmm. <sighs> Do you like my regular garb look? I think my regular garb look is giving me my favorite. Um, no, don't, don't worry about it. Blur the shirt. Okay, I'm blurry, thank you. I think we gotta start with the tarot though. You can slow this down by 50%. Did you know that, Dylan? Yes, I did not. Sniff test. Oh. That smells really good. Oh yeah! Woo! Okay, check it out, check it out. I even kept the straw. Oh man. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. What's the trend? Like you do this and you try to go in? Oh wait. Holy fuck! Technically I can't do a bone apple teeth without doing a shot. Because it's boba. It's time for a shot. That's really gummy and kind of gross. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, can I actually end up getting like? Cause I, I kind of just want the boba. I don't really. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how this is gonna work. Bone apple teeth. Hmm. Mm hmm. I gotta do a dibosier before I draw. I only got one boba and the rest is a mouthful of the goddamn. Tiramisu. Not bad, actually. Th honestly, this mix is really good with Malibu. This is insane. It, it reminds me of like a, it, like a really strong adult bubble tea. 
You don't want a little bit of this? It just felt weird because it was one singular boba and the rest of it was the bubble tea mixture taro Malibu. But still incredible. Like the flavor by itself, I think the boba ruins it. If you just put the taro in it, it wouldn't be as terrible. Okay, so this is really good. Final rating, eight out of 10. It works. Do you know how often I have to mop my floors because all the liquor that spills on it? Wow, it's already kicking in. I'm feeling the effects. I, all I ate today was a Costco hot dog and, and that's it. Hi Chew wrappers. Uh, I don't know why I did this. I should have kept with the high Chew. It was grape high Chew. So if, if this smells like grape high Chew, if this has any remnants of grape, I'm gonna be impressed. I could get a, a malignant tumor from this, so we'll find out. Like very midly, midly graped. There will be, there will be no bone apple teeth. Cause, all right, I'll do one. Bone apple teeth. It is kind of grapey, which I, I did not expect. I can't believe all the flavor is actually not in a high chew. It's, it's actually in the uh, the tin that it's wrapped in. It's time for a shot. Perfect pour, not a spill drop. Diboja! It has a little bit of like high chew grapeness to it. It's so mild that it actually tastes really good. Holy sh it's, it's like having, like, like, you know how, like, when you get a flavored something, it doesn't have the full flavor in there? It's just so minute. This is like, this is what grape Malibu would taste like because it's not real high. There's no high chew in it. Is this how they make it? I don't know. This is incredible. Final rating. Are you ready for it? Nine and a half out of 10. That's that good. <laughs> oh, you want to see something really cool? Okay. Behind the back, it's gonna go forward, land on my finger, mind me look. Was it close? No. <laughs> no. Pears! So the problem that we're gonna have here is that I'm not gonna be able to get this out of the jar. Um, I thought I could. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get this out of the jar without spilling the nectar within. I'll just, I'll do this. Check it out. Check it out. So I'm gonna transfer the liquids. I want the people to know that you f this whole thing out. <laughs> please. Look, let's just wipe it off and do it, please. I'm so sorry. Dylan, please. Look. Yes, hold on, hold on, this is part of the video now. <laughs> look at what, I, look what I have just done. And this guy in press record. Dude. No, ne the next clip you see is me smashing the jar again. <laughs> oh, you're on thin ice, buddy. Oh boy, how are we gonna get this peach out of the jar? Stop. I can't think of any way to get this peach out of the jar. Oh. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Probably shouldn't eat this. There's a lot of glass. Oh, I thought to take the shot of the... How do I know there's not glass in this? <sighs> Just like the head. How do I know there's not glass in this? It's time for a shot. Okay, first I gotta do some real big, smart looking around. Diboja! Wow. This is incredible. Oh, the tropical, the citrus neat. The citrus sneeze of the pear is so good with the Malibu. It's, and it's like a fresh pear instead of like a, a, a canned pear. This is incredible. We have been on a hot streak with the Malibu, which only means one thing. The rating, I forgot about the rating. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> 10 out of 10, it's that good. 
Which means there's only one jar left and it might be the first time a Malibu jar has ever gotten below a four or I guess eight. Or will it be good? Hot dog Malibu. Oh, damn, uh, bone apple teeth. Wow, is that a rough dog. The flavor is gone. It doesn't taste, it doesn't taste like Malibu. It doesn't taste like hot dog at all. It tastes like nothing. It's still not good though. It's time for a shot. Is this technically considered a variation of hot dog water? Damn. Oh, sniff test. It does smell, it smells pretty good. It's kind of like a smoky Malibu. All right. Oh my God, dude. This could be, this is either gonna be amazing or it's gonna be terrible. And either way, I'm ready to get to the bottom of it. By the way, if you haven't checked out Doka Ryan Gaming yet, it's my live streaming channel where I game all the time. We got a bunch of fun things coming out. We're live streaming right now while this video's out. So after this, Check it out, say hello. Diboja. The weird thing about this is that it doesn't not not work. It, yeah, it's gross. The aftertaste is pretty <laughs> putrid. Here's where it's good and here's where it's bad. If there wasn't hot dogs in it, it'd be really good. You're getting meat and that's what's throwing it for a loop. Did you know hot dogs are half percent meat? Minimum? This is not good. If you rip the wiener out of this and you put the smoke in, this would be a banger. But it's not a banger, it's a dud. With the wiener. Don't recommend it. I had to give it a three out of 10. You still wanna try it? Cause it's like, how silly can I get on a Friday evening? But you don't want to because you wasted a lot of Malibu. Yeah, I guess you could do like a tiny little, you get like, a, like one of those like mini M&M containers, you know, those have like little mini M&Ms in there. The, you put a hot dog in there and you fill it with Malibu, shake it around for like a, a week, a couple days, honestly, is all you need. And then you just like swallow the hot dog, you drink the rest of the Malibu that's inside. It's still gonna be like a half a shot, really. Space, volume, mass. Well, drunk off hot dogs. I gotta go to Vancouver. I gotta get a plane in uh, eight hours. And I have neck problems from picking up glass. Dylan, roll the, roll the clip of the glass again. <laughs> no, the first one? Oh, right. Well, thanks for coming on this episode of In A Jar. I'm your host, Doki Ryan. Up here is a video that YouTube recommended. Down here is a video that I picked. Let me know which one is better. And right here, well, that's my beautiful face. Click on that, put the bell icon on, and I'll see you in the next video uh, where I put things up my 